you are here uh, letting all the other other mazhabs to know about Islam? Or yeah, calling people to Islam. No, no, calling people yeah, to Islam. Muslims, mostly non-Muslims. Like, uh, yeah, like Christians, whoever, atheists. Oh. Yeah, but if we do get Muslims, then we try to give them something at least also yeah, to yeah, read. Like you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I put it here to let others know about Islam because I know. Uh, but that's what I said. Maybe, maybe this contains something which you don't know. Yeah, yeah right? Because we don't know everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, example, we, are, we have uh, started for weird years. So, I'll tell you, I'll tell you an incident from uh, the... I hope I'm not taking much of your time. Huh? I'll just tell you one incident. You probably know that. Uh, it's from the time of Musa alayhi salam. So, Musa alayhi salam was asked, who is the most knowledgeable? So Musa alayhi salam said he is the one who is most knowledgeable, right? So Allah commanded Musa alayhi salam to go and meet Al Khidr. Okay, Do you know about that? Al Khidr no. No, see, see, you don't know. So we don't know everything. Yeah. Get you what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should never yeah, assume that. About Musa, about his, yeah, yeah. Uh, he put it in. Yeah, in the the asa. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the known story, anyways. That's a known uh, fact, anyways. Shalab, but then this is something that's in the hadith, the books of hadith. So Musa alayhi salam said that I am the one who is knowledgeable. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is the most knowledgeable. The absolute knowledge belongs to Allah. So Allah asked Musa to go and meet one of his servants, one of his slaves. His name was Khidr. Okay. So Musa took Yusha bin Noon, one of the servants, you know, uh, one of the servants of Musa and they traveled. And there they met Khidr. So Khidr, when Musa alayhi salam met Khidr, Musa alayhi salam said that Allah commanded me to go and meet you, right, to learn some knowledge from you. Can I be with you, spend some time and get some knowledge with you? So Khidr, he says to Musa alayhi salam that Allah has given you the knowledge which I don't have and he has given me the knowledge which you don't have. Yeah. So knowledge is wasi, it's an ocean. Yeah, yeah. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and wherever you find it, you take it, as long as it's authentic. Yeah. So we should never say that we, I know everything, you know, there's a lot of things which we don't know. Yeah, so we don't close the avenues of knowledge, right? So we take it, inshallah ta'ala, and you know, may Allah benefit uh, us with that. Two main types of Islam. What is that, Shia and Sunni. Uh -huh. and most of the people I think here is Sunni, yeah? No, in the Quran, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions in the Quran, in one of the chapters of the Quran, in Surah Al-Anam, you know, chapter 6, verse number 159, Allah says, O Prophet, Whoever divides the religion into sect, whoever divides the religion into sect, O Prophet, you have got nothing to do with them. Their matter is with Allah and Allah will deal with them on the day of Qiyamah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, one of the chapters of the Quran, verse 103, Allah says, wa wa la Hold fast to the rope of Allah strongly. What is the rope of Allah? The Quran. And be not divided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in another place in Surah An-Nisa Allah says Atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul Obey Allah and obey the messenger How are you going to obey the messenger? You are going to obey the messenger by, by following the teachings of the Prophet and the companions Right? Because Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he has mentioned in an authentic narration that three generations after him will be on the Sirat al-Mustaqim will be on the straight path Right? Who are those? The, the Prophet and the Sahaba, the companions, and the Tabaeen. Who are the Tabaeen? The students of the companions and the Tabiyatul Tabaeen. The students of the Tabaeen. So these are the generations, these are the, these are the Salaf al Salihin who we should be holding to when we follow our deen. Because Prophet himself took the responsibility for that. Right? And Prophet he compared his companions with the stars. He said, My companions are like the stars. You know, so we should respect the companions. He said, if there is a prophet to come after me, that will be Umar. May Allah be pleased with him. He talked about Umar. He was asked, who do you love the most among the men? He said, the father of Aisha, Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him. You know, so this is the status of the companions and we should respect that. We should hold to that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, exactly. So it's very important that we, you know, uh, stick to the Quran and Sunnah, right? Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah. Who says what doesn't really matter if it contradicts with the Quran and Sunnah. We should hold to the Quran and Sunnah, that's more important.